The human body is made of 60% water, and most of that water are the tears I never shed. Ooh. Rewind, yeah. rewind, 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 Cause I have too much pride to let my eyes water even when no one in sight. You see, my father's implications state that I'm too emotional, and as a child, I would hear "Stop crying" before I make you have something to cry about. And even up to my teenage years, I'll be damned if I let him see them. And I made that mistake twice last year of not wiping them away in time. I learned to be afraid to feel. I never knew how to process. I learned how to cap about how I'm feeling and bottle my emotions. Too many times toxic masculinity confused expression of emotion for femininity as if the two are the same. I've seen people have the nerve to call women too emotional and I'm wishing I had the emotional intelligence of the black woman in my life. And I came to the conclusion that sometimes men are more emotional, we just show it different. And as a man, as a man all I know are outbursts that will go open. Oh. As a man, all I know are outbursts that will go silent. I'm taught to be distant when somebody gets too close. I'm taught to keep pushing even when you're being pulled in so many different directions. And the dehumanization of the black mind still occur even after slavery. Only want me to show three fifths of my humanity and still be enslaved to unhealed trauma in my own mind. And I'd be lying if I said I was free. It's funny how I'd be encouraging therapy for everyone till I realized the one who needed it most was me. But I ain't gonna cry for help. I'd rather whisper or sign language if I knew how. Afraid of the implications of my diagnosis. I already lost family to mental health and I deal with the fear of it being me next sometimes. While also dealing with the fear of being associated with cowardice for not completing my mission on this earth. So now I spend days wishing I could bring my inner child back to life and tell him that it's okay. Tell him that it's okay to be sad sometimes. And it's alright to be down but it's not okay to stay there. It's okay, it's okay, black boy, to feel, and it's okay to cry. But I wish the man I am today would. I wish the man I am today would believe those words. Thank you.